Thanks for tuning in again to String Tech Workstations YouTube channel. We have this tally and we have to take a different approach to this one. There's a few issues that we're, we're going to need to deal with. See this? This is the remnants of the lacquer when the guitar was first made. You can see how it's pooled up on the edge of the fret. I've started by cleaning up in between these three frets. I just want to show you the rest of the fingerboard. That's how it looked like before I got started. Okay, so this is 4-0 steel wool. So I'm giving you play-by-play -play here and, and if you look you'll see that there's actually a crack in the fingerboard here. The frets are holding it together. It's a strictly a cosmetic issue. We're gonna leave that one alone. Uh, we're more interested in getting the playability 100%, intonation 100%, and get rid of all this fret wear that you see in here along the total length of the neck. We will remove the nut because like I had explained in that last video, you really want that luxury to be able to go right through full length of the fingerboard. The nut can prove to be a, an obstruction when you're doing this work. So I like to heat it up, gently remove it, and we're going to put a compensated nut in there anyway. Now while we're on the subject of maple fingerboards, uh, this PV came in on the weekend doing a complete refret on this. We got all those frets out, super clean. Uh, we are going to correct that uh, fingerboard at the neck to body junction now that we have the opportunity with the frets out. So I will skim off that top end. So we'll refret this with that EVO uh, compensated nut. And you know, Joe had actually taken this. I'm, I'm pretty sure he said I was either the fourth or the fifth shop. And um, really going around the block trying to get this thing to behave itself. It will be perfectly surgically in tune and play smooth as silk when he gets it back from my shop. The fingerboard has been corrected on this PV. Uh, we've loaded that truss rod just a little bit in preparation for the new frets. And we're getting ready to drop this EVO fret wire in there. All right, the fingerboard prep has been done. And I've got all my rough cut lengths done. Uh, snap them up and go, they're in the right order. I will pre-bevel and polish all of those frets before I tap them into the fingerboard. Alright, the new EVO frets are in. Corrected, like I mentioned earlier, I corrected this portion of the fingerboard here while we had those frets out. Gave us the opportunity to correct the lay of the neck. So and that will be blown over, caramelized, and then top coated right over top of the frets. Right. We'll let that sit for a few days and then we'll steel wool the finish off of the frets and do our final fret dress level crown and polish. Okay, that's been heated up and for about four minutes and then Darcy's just uh, using the razor blade to uh, to get that original lacquer off it's just like it's coming off like rubber so this is the idea no refret here we're just gonna remove that rubbery lacquer and then just blow it in. Okay, moving right along here getting that old lacquer off and uh, we'll be down to raw maple Yeah, we're on the home stretch now. That stuff is, it was going to flake off anyway, but uh, we'll get this thing sealed up and Darcy will shade it in. You'll never know anything ever happened to this guitar. Okay, so the original wear marks where the lacquer had fallen off a while ago and the maple started to get kind of smudgy, uh, Darcy's scraping it white again so that when he's done, It'll be raw maple full length and then it'll be completely in the driver's seat to be able to shade it and get a nice uh, consistent finish all the way along. 